You're watching Northwest Florida's news station. This is 3 in the morning. And good morning to you. Welcome to 3 in the morning. I'm Jerry Phillips. I'm Laura Hussey. Thanks for joining us. Okay, a civilian teacher at NAS Pensacola arrived at work on Friday and then walked right into the scene of that shooting. She came face to face with a young man who would not survive the day. Channel 3's Renee Beninati has more of her story. Cheryl Poister talked exclusively with ABC News. She says she's been an instructor here at NAS Pensacola for more than five years. But Friday is a day she will never forget. Poister says one of the victims of the shooting actually saved her life. My students are amazing. On Friday, December 6th, Cheryl Poister arrived to work later than usual, but that's not the only unusual thing she did that day. I usually go in a different door, but this time we were at the front door. She teaches a fundamental skills training class in building 633 at NAS Pensacola. When she got there, that's when she saw a familiar face in the midst of chaos. I looked up and um, young Ensign Watson came through the door and he collapsed. He fell on the steps. She's talking about 23-year-old Ensign Joshua Watson, who had just moved to Pensacola two weeks before to fulfill his dreams of becoming a pilot. But Friday, he was more than that. Watson was also a hero. Deputies say after the sailor was shot several times, he ran outside to tell first responders where to find the shooter. Poister says if it weren't for Watson's sacrifice the last minutes of his life, she wouldn't be alive today. I would have walked through that door and I would be dead. I respect him and I, I love him. He's an amazing young man. Poister says she heard more gunshots and her driver told her to get back in the car. <coughs> the sea of first responders flooded the base as they fled the scene. Authorities later identified the shooter as this flight student, Mohammed Al Shamrani from Saudi Arabia. Poister says many of her students are Saudi nationals, but she wants the community to not rush to judge them. As a teacher, I'm pretty much in heaven. Uh, I don't see cell phones, no talking in class. They're always on time. You don't do better than that. The Navy posthumously awarded wings of gold to the three sailors killed in this shooting. Acting Secretary of the Navy, Honorable Thomas Modley proclaimed Ensign Joshua Watson as a naval aviator, and both Airman Mohammed Haytham and Airman Apprentice Cameron Walters were proclaimed naval air crewmen. Reporting outside NAS Pensacola, Renee Beninati, Channel 3 News.